Shalom. Before we start, I would like to remind you to please keep your masks on during the whole performance and to turn off your mobile phones. Thank you. Minutes as we are going to broadcast this on a special technical uh, way. So just please bear with us. We are online with Budapest. Uh, we are encountering a small problem, but two minutes, bear with us, and we are going to be with you right away. Thank you so much. Professors, guests, dear friends, good evening. Yo Eshte, the Liszt Academy in Budapest, this is Reconnection 2022 calling. We are used to meeting once a year in Budapest or in Jerusalem to rehearse, perform, and exchange musical experiences. Unfortunately, the pandemic made the Reconnection project almost impossible to realize for the last two years. 
but we will never give up this outstanding cooperation that we have between the Liszt Academy in Budapest and the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance for more than a decade. We choose to be together tonight via a direct broadcast so that we can feel closer and that the public from both ends will enjoy both performances. I would like to invite Dr. Gula Fekete, Vice President of Research and Academic Affairs from the Liszt Academy in Budapest to open this evening. Dear Gula, please. Sarah, uh, thank you for your greetings. Uh, your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you in Budapest at the Gila concert of the Reconnections, result of the successful collaboration between the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance and the Liszt Academy of Music. In 2013, the initial idea was to organize a series of joint chamber music workshops and concerts with the participation of professors and students from both institutions. During this series of events, musicians played together with different cultural and musical backgrounds. It is both a challenge for them and a particular artistic impulse that creates an extraordinary musical treat for the audience. The last two years were special in the history of Reconnections. Due to the global pandemic, unfortunately, we could not travel to Israel, nor could we receive students and professors in Budapest. Even though we could not realize the personal contacts and could not rehearse and play together that constitute the uh, essence of these events, we decided to organize the program this year using the means of technology. This evening, we would like to show that in spite of the change in external circumstances, we still continue our long-standing tradition of fruitful collaboration that we wish to keep for the future as well. The first part of our concert program tonight features contemporary chamber music works of young Israeli and Hungarian composers, Karmel Kuriel and Marton Such, who wrote their pieces especially for this occasion. I hope you will enjoy the concert. This historic tradition between our academies will continue tonight. The two nations share the basis of further cooperations, the binding power of musical creation. Thank you for your attention, and I would like to send our best wishes to President Klinghofer and to our colleagues and dear friends in Israel. Thank you. Professor Michael Klinghofer, the president of the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance, to greet both audiences. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, our audience in Hungary. His, Excell His Excellency Levente Benke, His Excellency Yaakov Hadas Handelsmann, and my colleague, and friend by now, after all those years, Dr. Gyula Fekete. <clears throat> Many years ago, when I was still Dean of Performing Arts at the Jerusalem Academy of Mu Music and Dance, two faculty members, one is here with us, Mr. Tzvi Karmeli, head of our chamber music program, and Dr. David Sela, who is no longer with us, unfortunately, came to me and said, we have this idea. And I went to President Leaf, who is sitting here with us, and we talked about it, and then it continued and developed. I've been following this over the years, and I think this evening is extremely meaningful for me, because it's the first time of Reconnections 
with me as president. And I think this evening shows us what we've learned, more than anything, what we've learned from this pandemic. You can stop culture, but you cannot stop art. You cannot stop people from composing. You cannot stop people from playing music. Our students, who kept being with us in Hungary and in Jerusalem, over those toughest periods, creating and playing music in the face of adversity, are showing that art cannot be stopped. Art is a basic, essential human need, necessity. I wish us all a wonderful evening, and I thank our friends in Budapest for this ongoing, long-term collaboration. Good evening. Thank you very much, Michael. We will be screening now the greeting of His Excellency, Mr. Levente Benko, the ambassador of Hungary in Israel. Dear guests, dear invited participants, both in Tel Aviv and in Budapest. We are delighted that despite the uncertainties of the pandemic that are still with us, a solution was found in order not to lose connection between the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance and the Liszt Fans Academy of Music in Budapest. Indeed, the initiative of the program named Reconnection between the two prestigious music academies was launched in 2013 and made possible numerous common projects. According to the established rhythm of the program, in February each year, the two institutions paid mutual visits. One year, a delegation of students and teachers of the Jerusalem Academy visited the Liszt Academy, while the next year, the other way around. A delegation from the Liszt Academy visited Israel. These exchanges resulted in cooperation, common workshops, and concerts with great success. It has spread knowledge about the academic traditions of each other in the field of classical music. Looking at the history and the development of our history in classical music, we can see that Hungary and Israel have many common points. There are numerous Hungarian Jews whose contribution was fundamental to the development of Hungarian classical music. And we know that many of them, following the tragedy of the Shoah and Aliyah to Israel, and a fundamental role also in the establishment of Israel institutions for classical music. Suffice to mention the Tel Aviv Conservatory for Music, which boasts with renowned Hungarian-born musicians like László Vinca, Ilona Kraus Vinca, Ödön Pátos, Alexander Uriya Boskovic, Laurent Fenyves, and Alice Fenyves. The name of Ilona Fehér will sound familiar to anyone who studied violin in Israel, but we're also very proud of the ongoing cooperation with the Hateva Contemporary Music Center founded by Dan Juhas, Hungarian born Israeli contemporary composer. There is therefore an entire bunch of common roots that provide mutual enrichment to Hungarian Israeli cooperation like reconnection. After a two year interruption caused by the pandemic, we are getting together again, albeit still in a hybrid mode but hoping that next time we will enjoy full and live cooperation in the two countries. It is my pleasure to deliver my warmest greetings, both to the guests gathered in Tel Aviv and also in the concert hall of Budapest. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I hope you will enjoy our program. And finally, it's time for music to take over. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador. I would like to invite now His Excellency, Mr. Yaakov Adas Hendelsmann. Dear guests, we are invited participants both in Tel Aviv and in Budapest. We are delighted that despite the uncertainties of the pandemic that are still with us, we are okay. <laughs> so I would like to invite now His Excellency, Mr. Yaakov Adas Hendelsmann, 
the ambassador of the State of Israel in Hungary, to greet the audience. Ambassador. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> at least as I'm, alive, as I'm alive and alive, there won't be any po possibility of repeating it, but doesn't matter. Anyway, greetings to all music lovers, members of the Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music, members of the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance, Distinguished guests, colleagues, and members and friends from the diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen. Music has a way of bringing together people of all backgrounds and cultures, and this event is another great example of how important music is in our lives and what an impact it can make. As it was already mentioned, since 2013, Israel and Hungarian, Israeli and Hungarian students have been exploring music together. The Reconnections project soon became a cultural flag project in the Israeli and Hungarian musical relations. With hope in our hearts, let us enjoy this evening as we are here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of an important and inspiring interna international cooperation between the Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music and the Jeru Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the ability to materialize this exchange over the last two years was interrupted because of the pandemic. Two years ago, this event was one of the last cultural events in Budapest before the lockdown came into place. As things were finally easing up, we all thought we were starting to return to normality. Not quite so. Because I think you would agree with me that this evening is influenced by the war in the Ukraine, where many people were killed or injured and many others are trying to flee the country to save their lives. Among them, quite a number of Israelis who didn't adhere to the government's request to get out of Ukraine at an earlier time. And as Hungary is one of uh, the countries bordered the Ukraine, a big part of our embassy staff uh, backed up by people from Jerusalem as long as members of other embassies in Budapest are right now at the frontier trying to reach out to citizens of the countries and to act actually to help anyone who needs help and can be helped by us and they are not here with us tonight. But on the other hand, we have here among us some Ukrainian people who managed to get out and who came this evening to this place to hear some good music, I hope. So a warm welcome to them. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, the aim, I think it's the last time that I will say ladies and gentlemen, so don't worry. The, <laughs> the aim of this particular project is the realization of a series of chamber music workshops and joint concerts hosted in Budapest and Jerusalem in turn. It is certainly a wonderful way of bringing together people from both of our countries through love of music. This mutual love of music also builds a bridge of friendship that may last for a lifetime. Music has a way of speaking to us on several levels. For example, music speaks the language of our souls. Music is able to soothe the mind and heat the heart, thus making it whole. Ladies and gentlemen, let music talk now. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Ambassador. And now, really, it is time to listen to Reconnection Sounds 2000. 22. We will begin with Primary Colors by the young Israeli composer, a student of a Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance, Carmel Curiel, a versatile artist, violinist, conductor, and a composer. 
The piece we are about to hear, named Yellow, stemmed from a true inspiration of Carmel after an improvisation lesson while experiencing the power that colors can revoke in our feelings and mind. Yellow will be interpreted by the Sareti Quartet from the Liszt Academy.
What a beautiful sound, an interesting sound. This special piece, okay, I will say this again. <laughs> um, it wasn't recorded, so we apologize for that. And we appreciate your patience <laughs> for the technology. Okay, we are good. So what a beautiful sound and interesting way of the yellow color we have heard. And now the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance Quartet will perform Homage à B by Martin Soch. Martin is a very promising young composer. His works have been performed numerous times in Hungary and abroad by world acclaimed artists. This special piece has also an uncommon instrumental bouquet, flute, mandolin, Bassoon and double bass. And now, homage à B.
Thank you to the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance Unusual Quartet for this sensitive performance. Dear friends, before we disconnect this joint broadcast of the Reconnection 2022, I would like to thank you all for being with us tonight and for not giving up on this annual family reunion. Also, I would like to thank the production and coordination staff from both academies that have worked intensively for the last three months putting up together this beautiful evening. Kösönöm Sepen, Todaraba. Now that we are disconnected, you are going to enjoy the live performance here. So we will now listen to four pieces by Max Bruch, a wonderful fantasy collage of peaceful melodies which portray feelings, moods and temperaments mixed with romantic East European folkloric tranquil character. Please.
Quartet of Haydn, named so after the characteristic opening of perfect fifth chords, was written for the court of Prince Esterhazy and was dedicated to the Hungarian Count Josef Georg von Erdodi. Haydn is considered the architect of the string quartet literature as a very creative avant-garde visionary of new forms, rhythms, harmony, progressions, and poetic expressions. As this will be the last piece performed in our concert, I would like to thank again the Hungarian Embassy in Tel Aviv, my friend Laszlo Bereni, the cultural attaché of the Embassy, and its diplomatic staff for hosting this event, the beautiful studio Annette, the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance coordinators and technical staff, professors, musicians, and you, dear guests, for being here with us tonight. Thank you.